Good morning, everybody. I'm supposed to be a blessing. Today is December the 6th, 2018. This is a reading for my Scorpios. If you're new to my channel, please like, subscribe, and comment. For my old subscribers, thank y'all for sticking with me for so long. I really appreciate y'all. Thank y'all for leaving comments in the comment section down below. And with that being said, Scorpios, now this reading, I feel as though it's going to be for a select group of people. I mean, a select group is going to um go with part of it and then a another part is going to be as a whole so you choose what goes with you okay but i do feel that this is for two separate groups of scorpios okay so the first card that's popping out is the world card so it's saying your world is definitely changing for you here some of you are definitely guarding you're going to receive a message here you're very guarded for some reason and somebody's dealing with somebody who's married I do see a reunion, but I also see somebody who's dealing with somebody who's married. Could have somebody guarded. And somebody, this person's definitely thinking about somebody who's married. And also, um, this card talks about being married. And it also talks about a reunion with somebody. So this person who's thinking about this person who's married, they want a reunion with that person. Definitely in their mind in regard to it. But the sun card is the Leo card. Somebody just want to be happy. I see y'all want to be happy with the Wheel of Fortune. Vanessa is definitely coming into your life. The moon card, you're going to see the clarity in regard to some things that are going on with you. I see somebody's definitely bounded here. Now, this is the ten of swords. My ten of swords card, for me, it said that somebody took somebody to hell and back. That's right. Either you or somebody else you're dealing with took somebody to hell and back but the thing about it is that's the ending card so either you're going to end that situation you're going to continue to go on with it or either you're going to look for something better to come in now some of y'all may seem that y'all foolish for dealing with somebody within a toxic relationship is what I'm seeing okay but we also know that the full card talks about jumping out and doing something new and exciting as well. But definitely somebody's definitely in their emotions, in their thoughts in regard to some hurt and pain that they've gone through, that somebody took them through. And they don't exactly know there's some confusion here. Somebody wants to leave a situation, but yet they're tied to somebody. They're definitely bounded to somebody here. So they're not going to go anywhere. Even though they're back, they turn their back sometimes, but they're not going nowhere. Some, some, some of you are definitely going to leave a situation that's toxic for you. But you could be dealing with somebody who is drinking, dragging, things of that sort. Um, very, let me see. This person can be very controlling. That's what I'm feeling. I feel it in my stomach. Somebody's very controlling here. Want to always just... Just be in charge. You know what I mean? It's like they wear the highway. And some other person are not feeling. They're trying to be in their strength in regard to the situation. You're trying to hold your strength, to maintain your strength in order to deal with this person because you do love them. I'm not going to say you don't love them because you do. And they love you as well, but they don't know how to love you correctly. That's what it is. So, some of you needing the strength to deal with the situation. You could be dealing with the Leo here as well. Also, I see that... Um, some of you are holding on to your finance a little bit too tight. So, with this card, somebody holding on to their finance a little bit too tight is looking back here. So, it could be having to do with the lover's relationships. So some people get into relationships with people because they want to get in a relationship with them because of something that they have. Not for the right reason. Not that they love them or not that they want to be with them like that. All right? So definitely you need the strength in order to deal with something. You're trying to decide if you want to leave or go here. Dealing with this toxicity. You've been dealing with it for a very long time is what I'm seeing. And also some of you feel like you're foolish for dealing with this. Even though you've been hurt and took the hell and back here, you still want to love this person. But you need to clear it in regard to the things that you need in your life is what I'm seeing. All right. Let's see what other cards that came out for you here. You do. I do see new love coming in your life here, but yet you're definitely going to be guarded with that. Some of you are going to have to need some counsel in regard to what happened with you within this old relationship here because there was a lot of betrayal here. Somebody cheated here. Somebody treated somebody less than. Walked on them like a rug is what I'm saying, which left somebody bounded in their mind here. So that's why an ending had to take place because they, they couldn't take it anymore. There were harsh words that were spoken. Somebody talk down to somebody. And those words cut somebody. Cut them deep because they're bleeding here is what I'm feeling. Yes, dealing with heartache and pain is what I'm seeing, Scorpios, within a lover's relationship. Do you see that? And somebody sleeping with somebody. This is a lust card right here. This is the lover's card. Somebody's One person is loving a person, but another person is just here for the sex. You see, with the snake, somebody just want to have sex with somebody. You have a king of pentacles here as well. Um, coming into your life to offer you some of a very business minded person that could be coming in but for sure some of you are going to be leaving some people placing things behind. I also see that somebody is definitely spying on somebody you see that they watching you wherever you go they're spying on you. 
seeing what you're doing. And you need to make a head of hard decision in regard to that situation. Well, in regard to this partnership. Because you're feeling like you're carrying a heavy load is what I'm getting from this. You do have the wish card. So anything you're hoping to wish for at this time can come to fruition. But with that, it entails, it entails a lot. You know what I'm saying? It's not like I dream of Jenny where you shut your eyes and blink your eyes and then it'll work out. I mean, you're wishing for things to get better in your life. In order to do so, you got to do something about it. They still want to send... Um, some of you are very passionate about something, and it's a very creative time for you as well. I do see that a water sign is coming in, or a water sign. This is a water sign coming in to offer you love here, and this is a water sign of somebody stealing their emotion in regard to somebody as well. And see, with the back turn here to this moon, they're not following their intuition in regard to that situation as so somebody's working extremely hard trying to make things work out and how I'm going to it's, it's, it's time for you to follow your higher self yep somebody's coming back from the past here reminiscing about the past third party situations are going on somebody's definitely thinking about leaving though with the magician it's saying that you can manifest what you want in your life but yet you're in your mind and not your words some, some of you Scorpios are having dreams mm -hmm, up at night not being able to sleep, you're dreaming about things, um, needing the understanding of the dreams that you have. I see you fighting against different people here, trying to stand up for yourself and with the hermit. It's like some of you are definitely um, isolating yourself, going through it, just going through it. But the hermit is saying you're trying to figure out the answer, so there's definitely confusion here. Um, all right, Scorpio, so this is the feeling that I have today. You know, I tell you, I'm intuitive, so I feel deeply. So some of you are definitely going through it. I hope y'all enjoyed this reading. Please like, subscribe, comment. Let me know what's going on with y'all. And if you need a reading or any help, please give me a call at 347-227-5723. Thank y'all so very much.